Okay, so before we get started with our brows, I'm gonna tell you all of the items that I will be using to do my brows today. The first thing that I have is a spoolie, and this is by Sonia Kashik. This is the number 127 spoolie, and this works excellent for me. If you're using a product that has a spoolie on it, kind of like, like this, this is the Maybelline Brow um, Precise and it has a spoolie on one end and your pencil on the other end, that's perfectly fine, but you use what is um, suitable for you and you know what you prefer. But I like to use this because it's nice and thick and I feel like the bristles are nicely packed in there. The next thing that you're going to need of course is your brow pencil of choice whether that be Anastasia Beverly Hills or this this is um, by Pixie this is the natural brow duo by Pixie and it has the brow pencil on one end and a brow gel on the other end which I love this because it's two in one um, you're going to need some concealer I like to use the Maybelline um, fit me concealer in the color 30 cafe and you're going to need a concealer brush to clean up those brows so now that you have everything that you need let's zoom you guys in and start doing these brows okay so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is brush up your brows and I like to go up in the front and then just lay them over so I go up in the front and then I'm just going to lay them over. And you want to make sure that your brows are as fresh, freshly shaped as possible to give you the best shape. So um, if you have one of those little brow shaver things, you can go in and just kind of clean up around your brows or just pluck or if you're in between threading then concealer is going to be your best friend and sometimes we are sometimes our brows can't be as clean as we would like them to be okay so the first thing i'm going to do is go in with my brow pencil and i'm going to start at the base of my brow here and i'm just going to lightly begin to fill in the base of my brow And I have short brows. As you can see, my brow stops kind of short of where I would like it to be. So that's where I have to kind of create a tail for myself. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And I go to right about there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. The great thing about filling in brows is you can kind of decide what shape you want and then go from there. They have brow stencils. If you're challenged with doing eyeballing it like I am, then you can certainly purchase brow stencils to kind of help you get the shape that you want. And then from here, I'm just gonna lightly fill in the rest of my brow. And I really do like this Pixie Brow Duo because I feel like it's just enough product to where I don't have a strip of black on my brows and it still kind of looks natural, just like the, what it says, just like the name of it. So I'm just gonna keep filling in until I feel like I've gotten all of the sparse areas. And if you have some naked areas in there too, don't worry about that. Don't feel like you have to fill in the whole thing because when you brush the product through your brows, it's gonna distribute the product and make it look even more natural. So now we're just gonna go to the other side here. And remember, brows are sisters, not twins. So they're not gonna look exactly the same, you guys. Unless 
that's the look that you're going for. But I know my brows never look the same. So I just went ahead and filled out that bottom portion and now I'm filling it out on the top. And now we're just going in the middle. And I'm sorry you guys, the lawn guys are outside. So if you hear the lawn man, that is the community lawn guy cutting the grass for the neighborhood. Okay, so if it's not perfect, don't worry about it because that is what the concealer is for. The concealer is really gonna get in here and clean everything up and make everything look cohesive and nice like you just got a fresh wax at the beauty shop. So now we're gonna take our spoolie and what we're gonna do is just gently and lightly distribute that brow product, the brow pencil, throughout the brow so that we can take down some of that harshness. But you don't want to be digging in there and rubbing or else you will remove the product. So you just wanna do this lightly. And you guys, I'm looking in my viewfinder and my mirror. Okay, so now that I have the product brushed through my brows, I'm going to come in with my concealer. Um, you can use it straight from the wand, but I wouldn't recommend that because it's not as precise. So what I like to do is just put some of the concealer on my hand like so. And then I'm going to come in with my concealer brush. I am using the Sigma F70, which works like a charm for me. But by all means, you use what you have in your collection, okay? So what I do is I'm going to come in right up underneath this brow. And I'm just going to slowly drag my concealer up and over and out to the end here. And this is what's going to give me that nice carved out clean definition, a nice clean brow. And then what I do is I just take my brush and pull the rest down in, onto my brow bone. And then after that, I come in with my finger to kind of diffuse that line a little bit because I don't want such a harsh, harsh line. And you can see it instantly looks better already. Now, some people will tell you don't do anything to the top. I am a rebel and I do the same thing to the top because that's just what I like. But if you wanted to stop right here, you certainly could. Let's get back into focus here. There we go. So I'm just going to load my brush a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. And we're going to do the same thing on the top. Now, this is just how I prefer to do my brows and it works for me. So you do what works best for you. Now, do you see how I kind of made that little bit of a point right here, a little bit of that arch and that's why I like to go on top because I feel like my natural brows itself my arch isn't as defined and I like that little point at the top it's kind of like a little peak right here and I love that look but my brows don't have that naturally so I'm, I've been faking it y'all <laughs> I've been faking it and then I'm just gonna pull it out like so and I hope you guys can see this. Now, I don't worry about the lightness of the concealer up here because I'm gonna cover that up with foundation anyway. So that's how I avoid that halo brow look. Like you've seen some people, pictures of some brows that have that light halo around their brow and that is absolutely not cute which is why most people will tell you do not put any concealer at the top but if you're going back over it with foundation you can absolutely get away with it you just have to make sure that you're not using so much concealer that it's coming through 
the foundation. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So now we're gonna go do the same thing to the other side. And I'm just going to start right here. And then just slowly take it up and over. And you guys, what I'm doing is I load both sides of my brushes, of my brushes, of my brush. So one side is for the bottom and the other side of the brush I'm going to use for the top. And then whatever's left over on my brush, I just kind of use to further define and, you know, clean up any areas that might be a little wonky. I hope I'm in frame, you guys. I think I am. And so I really like to get in there with my finger and diffuse that harsh line because I just feel like it brings everything together nicely okay so now we're gonna go on top and this one is gonna be a little weird for me because I have to kind of contort my body when I do the left brow but I'm gonna get in here as best as I can I think that went well and then I'm just lightly feathering that concealer out and fading it out. And if the tail is too long, then I just kind of clean that up with whatever's left on my brush. Of course, I'm coming in with my finger again to just kind of clean up anything that I've messed up. And I don't know if you guys can see that right there where it's not quite cohesive. So then I will come in with my brush to just kind of fill in that little spot right there where I kind of missed a spot right there. And then if you want to, you can clean up your edges right here. I try not to do too much of that because I don't like that squared off look on the brow so what I do is just come in with my brush to just kind of fade out the front part of that brow because brows naturally fade in the front and I'm going for that somewhat natural look like you can tell that my brows are sculpted but I do like to make it look as natural as I can that's the look that I prefer. And for me, I can never get my tails to match. So I just try to get them as close as possible. And then if you want to, whatever's left on the brush, you can come in the middle and just kind of clean that up there and then now we're ready for our brow gel so you just use the gel of choice that you prefer and this is going to set the brows in place as I stated before this pixie has a double ended um, it's a duo so you have your gel on one side and your pencil on the other side and this is going to hold your brow hairs in place and keep everything nice and neat I love this product it works amazing it is a little costly for drugstore but you're getting two for the price of one so you're getting a brow pencil as well as a brow gel and it is slightly tinted the color that I'm using is in deep brunette and this is perfect for me you guys this I did a review on this I think I did a review on this or it was a favorite of mine one of those type videos but I absolutely love this product and you guys I'm it's on its last leg like I have maybe about a week or two left with this before I need 
another one sorry about that and so I'm just lightly brushing the brow gel through my brows and when I say it really does hold it all day my brows do not move that is it you guys that is how I do my brows um, from here if you need to tweak it a little bit if you need to play with the tail if you need to go back in and fill in a spot that you missed you can do that um, I'm gonna zoom you guys out so you can see but yeah I have my brows and for me this is my everyday brow look with every makeup whether it's you know I'll beat the face or you know just regular every day going to the grocery store this is how I do my brows so I'm gonna end this video here we'll talk to you guys later thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video you know what I'm gonna tell you stay sweet stay beautiful and remember there's always time for tea I love you for watching bye bye